We're continuing to follow the damage from this morning's storms from across our viewing area. Our own Emily Moss is joining us live now in Joe Town, again in rural Johnson County. Emily, we can see that damage behind you. Can you give us a look? I think you've got a barn down by you, right? Katie, this is a storage structure for a family that lives about a street over. I want to give you a look here at what we're seeing. We've got cinder blocks just hanging by a thread behind me. It's just a couple that are still there. The rest are sprawled all around this backyard. Inside here, you can see all the storage that they have in there. Miraculously, the storage inside really doesn't look too much damage towards the middle. And let's just keep walking over here because the, the damage is everywhere over here. We're going to walk over here. You can see part of this garage is folded in. In the front, there was a door almost kicked in. They believe the wind whooshed its way through the garage, pushing that garage door through. As you can see there, that, that pile of wood that was there, it used to have a tin shed on top of it. That's only been over it for about a year. It blew away and now that tin is all over this neighborhood. We're going to give you a closer look at that later tonight in the upcoming shows. As you can see, the damage is everywhere. We've also got a tree over there that they were spending this entire morning kind of cutting down it completely uprooted itself you can see kind of back behind there the tree is almost now that the tree parts of it are cut off it's starting to slowly sit back into the grass because the ground here is still very saturated we've got a wide wide range of damage over here the insurance company already there the homeowners here they are already talking to the insurance company the ema has already been here i already talked to dave wilson thankfully nobody was hurt here there's been nobody no deaths in the county but we are waiting to see if the national weather service will come out and check this out because as you can see this damage is widespread live in joe town emily moss news 7 kwwl